Clark led the miners to Ghost City to capture the raiders and recover the stolen gold. The Modots are attacking the miners to save the raiders. Sergeant, report to Colonel Sewell, Laura Grande. Tell him I shall engage the Modots at Ghost City. Yes, sir. Now, Miss Haynes, the truth will follow you. Those Modots will end up with the gold in our scalps, too. Get up in one of the buildings and watch for Burke. Renegades with those Modocs? No, I've been looking for one, too. Braddock, Renegade, huh? You mean Joe Burke, don't you? Where's Steve? Across the street on the roof. Jumping catfish, look! Time. How about Braddock? He won't lead any more gold raids. We haven't got a chance. Just climb up on the roof and take a look. You mean unless Kathy brings the troops in time, don't you? Keep those miners on their toes, Doc. It's their only salvation. Sure. Now, what are you up to? Well, Idaho and I have been after Prussian spies, gold raiders, and stolen gold for a long time. We know where we can find all three now. So no matter what happens, we're going to make sure about them. Can't blame you for that. Good luck. Thanks, Doc. You break fort, you're done. Stick where you are until the cavalry comes. are supposed to be friends of Morrell and Braddock and the Raiders. I sure don't look like it. I guess. The Modoc's man handled the others. There's one still kicking. Oh. 
Steve wants me to keep a writer alive long enough to talk, huh? Yeah, that's the general idea. All right, but it's a waste of time. There's no hope for any of us now. What was that you were saying about hope? No, but there's the gold, even if Morell did get away after starting all this. Look. Fool's gold. <laughs> but Morell's no fool. He rode off and left this fake gold shipment, and the raiders and us to the Modocs. Trina must have been with him. They're probably far away by now. They've tricked everybody in order to get the gold out of the country. But there's over a ton of dust. That's right. And you can't carry that in saddlebags. Where do you think it is? Well, he mentioned Dora Grandy. We won't be back there till morning. I don't think Morell will be able to leave before then either. So we still got a chance. That's right. Sure was a smart idea hiding the gold dust here, leaving dummies at Ghost City. No plan is smart unless it works. We aren't out of Oro Grandy yet. Of it. We'll finish loading, Friedrich. Get the powder ready. Yeah, I have one, Rogan. I can carry one to the wagon. Outside, Kathy. There's liable to be gunplay. You may have to get help. Huh? Haven't gotten away with the gold yet. Telegraph receiver you were looking for? Yes, I thought we'd eventually find it somewhere in the Golden Eagle. Uh, by the way, Captain Clark, do you still have my 1752 identification piece? It's the one without a number in it. Von Merck, huh? The Countess von Merck. Now everything's official. Now, my dear, will you please arrange the fuse? 
Huffman Clark, Herr Jones. When Prussia has bought Alaska with the gold we are taking from here now, I shall have a monument put there to commemorate two foolish Americans whose efforts most helped us to obtain what we wanted. Are they? Turn up. Russian agent Nora Grandy is still alive. I know he'll testify. Well, I have good news too, Steve. Chief Tahona and his Modocs are convinced they were misled, so we'll have peace. I suppose you two report back to Washington now, huh? <laughs> I'd sure like to hear Mr. Fessenden's reply. Secretary Stanton has read the confession you got from Friedrich Lentz and passed it on to President Johnson. It may please you to know that every Prussian agent in this country has been identified from the records you found and have been arrested. Beyond the fact that you've completed the case and recovered the gold, you've performed a far greater service for your country. Mr. Fassenden referred to the discovery that Russia is willing to sell Alaska. The Secretary of State has already begun negotiations. Unfortunately, though, except for the thanks that we give you now, nothing can be made public. We have served our country successfully. That's reward enough. I'm satisfied. So am I. Now I can start thinking up whoppers about all this to tell your grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> 